Well, a Tulsa neighborhood that was once run down and basically forgotten is springing back to life, thanks in large part to one woman. Two News Problem Solver Justin Wilfon shows how she's making a difference. In the shadows of downtown Tulsa, a neighborhood is being reborn. And Elizabeth Howe loves to show it off. The Circle Cinema, Ziegler's Art. Two pieces of the historic Kendall Whittier neighborhood. At one time, Elizabeth feared all of the history here had already been written. When we first moved into the area, we noticed the bones of the area, there was great potential. But, but the area had gone into considerable decline. Elizabeth moved her landscape architect business into an old fire station here in 2005. She wanted more. So I began attending improvement district meetings, task force meetings, and meeting actually the community shareholders. There was plenty of potential. And the more I found out, the more I got excited. She went to work, volunteering countless hours. She says her biggest accomplishment was getting the neighborhood on the state's prestigious Main Street program, which makes the neighborhood eligible for grants and other opportunities. I want to make it a better place to live. We have one life. Let's make the best of it. One product of Elizabeth's work is just now opening, a new neighborhood health center to serve many of the neighborhood's residents. Lori Paul is the health center's CEO. She cares about us. She wants us to be successful, and she'll do whatever we need to help us be successful. Next up, new townhomes to be built in this empty field. Well, we want to make Kendall Whittier uh, Main Street a thriving walkable, community-oriented place where businesses thrive, where people come and congregate, and we'll get there. Elizabeth makes it clear she's had plenty of help along the way, but those helping her know that she's certainly making a difference. Justin Wilfon, 2 News, works for you. Now, if you know someone making a difference, let us know about them. Go to the Problem Solver section of KJRH.com and tell us about them. We'll be right back.